Hey guys, what's up? This is ALOC88 Gaming coming to you with another video discussing the state of rapid fire sniper rifles in PvP. As some of you may know, I'm a sniper enthusiast in Destiny 2, and I've been using sniper rifles for a very long time. I've seen the meta shift so many times with sniper rifles was with each nerf. I remember when Twilight Oath was the premier sniper rifle, especially if you got the elusive curated role with Snapshot. Now, after so many nerfs to snipers in general, where do rapid fire sniper rifles fall in the meta? Oh Recently, about two twabs back, Bungie mentioned the buff to rapid fire snipers, which includes reducing the recoil by 50% on all rapid fire sniper rifles. But is that enough? Let's look, take a look at the history of rapid fire sniper rifles. At the peak of performance of rapid fire snipers, they were the go-to snipers to use. They were nimble, fast, and were the best for aggressive sniping. One of the standout features of rapid fires were their ability to double body for a kill. As this was considered oppressive, Bungie quickly nerfed the ability and usage dropped significantly. Another significant change that happened to snipers was the effect of zoom on aim assist. At one point, Bungie was only releasing snipers with 50 zoom, which again killed aggressive sniping, as most of the best snipers were 35 to 40 zoom. 50 zoom had clear advantage over other snipers as they had more bullet bending to help hit your crits. Majority of the rapid fire sniper rifles are 35 zoom. Again, another hit to the usage rate of rapid fires. Later on, Bungie would reduce this effect of zoom on aim assist to allow lower zoom snipers to benefit more, but this was not enough. The latest significant nerf to snipers was the increase in flinch while being shot. Before the change, enemy fire would actually cause snipers to flinch into headshots instead of away from the head. So Bungie implemented a nerf that increased the flinch and also caused the reticle to move away from the head during gunfights. Although I do agree that you should not be able to snipe an enemy through flinch, the snipers greatly affected by this were the rapid fires as they did not take flinch very well and this exacerbated the, this problem even more. All these changes have led rapid fire frames to be the most underutilized subfamily of snipers. Every sniper rifle frame has a unique purpose in the game. For example, adaptive frame snipers are jack of all trades snipers. They're mid range for damage and handling, whereas aggressive frame snipers are heavy hitting, very low handling, and can take down all supers in the game with a crit. The attributes that make rapid fires desirable are they usually are have very high handling which negates the mandate to use snapshot which is required on adaptives and aggressive frame snipers to be competitive. This opens up more options for perks on the rapid fire snipers. Most rapid fire snipers can get their handling to at least 80 if not 100 with fluted barrel which makes them very snap. The problem with rapid fire sniper rifles are that they are meant to be very aggressive in playstyle, but are very unforgiving if you miss your crit and your body. And also because the changes to zoom and aim assist, vast majority of the rapid fire frames are 35 zoom. And it's felt that they're not as sticky as adaptives or aggressive frames. The combination of very low zoom and very low range attributes to this. There are currently 10 non-sunset legendary rapid frame snipers and one exotic. In my opinion, there are only two out of these 11 that are competitive. Distinguishing traits that make these two competitive, I believe, is related to both of which have 50 zoom. These two snipers include Cloud Strike and Praetith's Revenge. Cloud Strike has a very good aim assist and a very good handling stat of 86 with the catalyst, which makes it very snappy. Also, the sheer playmaking potential with this exotic trait allows you to get multiple kills on crits. As you can see in the background, it's very good for trials. 
I consider Praetith's Revenge to be competitive also because it has 50 zoom, which makes the aim assist feel very good. The time loss version, if you get the combination of fluted barrel, handling masterwork, and an adept handling mod, allows you to get the handling to 100, which has a better aim down sight speed than snapshot. Also, it is very nice to have the perk combination of moving target and opening shot. Per D2 Foundry, while moving target and opening shot are active, this pushes the range to 72 and gives you 100 aim assist on your first shot. So what do I think can make these rapid fire frames competitive again? In all honesty, I think they should have the ability to double body again to make them even remotely competitive or at least let them double body up to a certain resilience so there is a way to counter it. My point is that they're supposed to be more aggressive snipers, but they take more flinch than other snipers and they are more unforgiving than other snipers in the fact that they have to hit your crit because if you hit a body, it makes it more difficult to clean up the kill. I mean, we have hot swaps with bows and 120 hand cannons, which require no special ammo. The least they can do is give us double bodies with rapid fire sniper. These are my thoughts on rapid fire frame snipers in the crucible. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. If you like the video and the conversation, make sure you give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.